So we stick them both in the microwave until they are kind of like soft. You can see just so they're soft so we can mix them up. The idea is The idea is you mix them both together until they're mixed relatively well. Just have to make sure they're soft enough that they're mixed. Then we just add all the other ingredients together. Flour. vinegar and the salt. What? So you want to put olive oil on your hands. Make sure your hands, of course, are clean, and then you can mix it up really well. kind of sticky, it's going to be kind of a little bit sticky. Oops. Sometimes if I need to, I might just add a little bit more flour in it if I find it, if I feel like it's a little bit too sticky. As you can see, this is kind of sticky, so I put it on the parchment paper. And then I'm gonna put another piece of parchment paper on top of it to flatten it off. And that makes it so it's not so sticky to work with. Another paper on top of it, so it's not so difficult to work with. And then we're gonna bring out a rolling pin. You can see we're kind of rolling it here. If you work with the two sheets of paper, it's quite easy. It'll be perfect. So you flatten it out like this onto the pan. It's, it's really never quite perfect because it is kind of a little stickier than regular bread. And then what we'll do sometimes is we'll make it a cheese and we'll add Parmesan cheese on top of it. And then we'll just bake it. If you're ever on the keto diet and you feel like you're missing bread or you're missing cheese bread, this is really quite a good bread, and it's actually pretty good with butter on it. So you can have the butter, you can have the cheese, you can add extra cheese on it, you can do lots of different things with it. And it's all, basically, it's a keto bread. The Reluctant Low Carb Life is all about helping you to be able to better navigate the low carb keto lifestyle, along with looking at tips to be able to help you with aging, wellness, and your overall health.